Hi there and welcome back to the channel once again. It's great to see you. If it's your first time joining me, welcome. Nice to meet you. And if you could do me a massive favor and please click the subscribe button just below, that would be highly appreciated. You can also become a member of the channel as well by clicking on the join button. There are lots of levels of memberships to choose from and perks associated with those levels. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell, ring the bell so you never miss a video in future. Right. On to today's video. What are we going to be talking about? Well, I thought I would share with you a little bit about my move to using uh, Starlink internet from SpaceX. Uh, this has been a long time coming and I just wanted to share with you the process, why I'm doing it and what my experience has been with Starlink so far. So let's get straight into it. Here it comes. So Starlink Internet, why have I taken the plunge and joined the SpaceX revolution? Well, I live in a house that is limited in terms of the connectivity in the traditional sense that is available to me. And I've been waiting a long, long time to see if that's going to change or improve and nothing has changed in, uh, in short. So why is that? What is the problem? I moved into this house about 11 years ago. It was a new build. And when we first moved in, to our surprise, we found that there was no connectivity at all. We couldn't even get a phone line. And the reasons behind this were due to the fact that there is a railway line in between us and the cabinet. Uh, so that was a big, big obstruction to get through. And there are two companies involved in the UK who had to agree to get the work done to get the connectivity uh, through uh, the railway line. And that was BT Open Reach and uh, Network Rail. So uh, the two of them didn't really enjoy talking to each other and it took a very, very long time for them to agree to even put basic connectivity in. But after about six months of living here with no phone line, no internet and very, very limited 3G signal at the time. We couldn't even get that. It was a total nightmare. We finally got a broadband connection in uh, and we had amazing speeds. Only kidding, no we didn't. We had three meg down, which pff, compared to what we had, which was nothing, was luxury, but still it wasn't great. So three or four years passed and then we got a letter through the door saying, well, you can you can now get super fast fiber. I got really excited about that. So yes, sign me up. I want to upgrade my connectivity. And it turns out the super fast wasn't so super fast. It uh, at best when we switched to it, we got 18 uh, to about 29 meg down and upload speeds pretty much non-existent. And that's what we've been on ever since until recently. And I've got to admit, I didn't really know what Starling was, but my wife and I have lots of walks around the street and we started noticing these little uh, dishes on, on top of one or two roofs. And I got talking to one of my neighbors who, who had one of these and I said to him, well, what is that? And, uh, is that internet? Is that satellite internet? To which he said, yeah, yeah, it's Starlink from, from Elon Musk, SpaceX. And well, what's it like? I said, oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I got it in, it increased the speeds um, by many, many times. Obviously, they're still variable. Uh, and that's what I'm finding out in the early days of testing Starlink. Uh, but uh, it's it's life changing. It really, really is. So I thought I got to get in on this. I've got to investigate and uh, uh, and get on board. So I did just that, and it was so easy to to sign up. Really, really easy. All you do is you go to Starlink.com and you sign up with uh, an account, your email address, and a password, and then you choose your uh, package. You uh, choose the equipment that you want and what you uh, need, need to order in the first instance is a router and a um, and a dish. And 
you can actually get refurb kit, which my neighbor gave me the tip off that that, that is absolutely fine. Refurb kit is absolutely no problem whatsoever and it's significantly cheaper. So I did just that. I went for the refurb equipment. It arrived in two or three days and I, I got the testing it straight away. You might if you follow me on LinkedIn, see some of the posts I did on that, and I put it on my community channel here on YouTube as well. I actually tested the router plugged right in in here in, in my office, and I put the actual dish on, on my back garden, on the lawn, or, or on the patio more, more accurately, and I filmed a short about this, which I'll put the link to here. And it, it worked beautifully straight away. It was very easy to set up. Um, you, you basically go into your... Starlink account and you uh, and once your router is connected to power and that's all it needs power it doesn't go into any phone line obviously it uh, it needs power and then it, it does its stuff it, it, it the satellite kicks into uh, or I should say the dish kicks into action it looks for the satellite and it connects very very quickly and the speeds even not in a proper position were were amazing i was getting um 100 to 200 meg down depending on the variables you're always going to get that variable performance i guess uh and I, I was absolutely flabbergasted by that i was blown away so um what did i do next how did i get the equipment actually installed properly uh well i reached out to a local company who was recommended to me by my neighbor an audio visual installations company and they came and did an estimate for uh, getting the, 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 the dish put onto our roof uh, and all put in the right direction. He, he guided me with the, through the Starlink app for some additional equipment that I needed to order. Uh, and I needed uh, what's called a pipe adapter. Uh, and as I'm doing this, I'll put some pictures on the screen as I, as I go through this so you can see exactly what I mean. Uh, but I needed the pipe adapter. I needed the Ethernet adapter so I could get... Um, the router all connected into my Ethernet in the house so I could get some hardwiring uh, connected for my son's PlayStation, his PS5, and into, into my home office here, which is, which is already uh, Cat6 routed through to uh, my son's room. So, um, so, so that was brilliant. And in addition to that, the audiovisual company would provide some equipment themselves. They provided for me a Unify antenna with some little rabbit ears, which uh, goes on the outside of my house to, to boost Wi-Fi signal between the house and this garden office. So we got one of those. We got a, uh, a little switch to plug all the Ethernet uh, connectivity into, and we got uh, a, a, an actual pipe or a, a pole which the which fits into the pipe adapter that I ordered directly from Starlink and uh, also a little sort of uh, booster which goes in my son's bedroom uh, and the ethernet plugs into that so um, absolutely fantastic and the service was great they they came and they fitted everything the, the router um, goes in my living room at the front of my house which is quite a distance away from where I am now so um, and we changed the location of that from the old BT router which is in my son's bedroom and then we wired the uh, router through to my son's bedroom so we could get the ethernet plugged in there and then the booster on the outside of the house and it was so so well done by this company who were, were so efficient so uh, great at explaining everything they were doing and we were up and running within a couple of hours and everything's installed it's it's very easy to connect to in the traditional way of connecting any devices in your house to um to a normal wi-fi and you get the wonderful Starlink app as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And in the app itself, there's a Starlink shop and you can look to uh, see what else you, you might need to, to buy, to add on, to improve your experience and your performance. And you can do speed tests in there and uh, get information on um, any troubleshooting if there is. I was looking this morning and it said that there was some minor disruption in connectivity to the satellite, but was self-corrected. And... Uh, the improvement has just been phenomenal. So I think this is going to be one of the best decisions I've ever made. Now, after the cost of the initial kit, which um, in, in UK money uh, was not too much, it was about £199 in total for the, uh, the dish itself and the router. And then it was another sort of £85 for me to get the, um, the pipe adapter and the ethernet adapter so i wasn't too unhappy with that 
And remember, this is all refurb kit as well, uh, the, the, the dish anyway. And, and they get, uh, the firm that I engaged to do the installation for me were very flexible. They gave me three different options for installation, ranging from uh, a couple of hundred pounds for minimal uh, kits and uh, installation. There was a middle option and then there was the, the all-in option with the bells and whistles and, uh, and that came to just uh, around about a thousand pounds and yeah, as you can imagine I went for the, the top option I wanted to get this right first time because I've had such poor internet for so long I wanted to get this right all through the house I wanted my son's PS5 gaming experience to be optimal because over the years he when he's tried playing certain games Fortnite in particular his lagging experience as he terms it has been uh, less than pleasing, um, judging by the language and banging we hear coming from his room. Um, he's immediately impressed with the difference and the download speeds that he is now seeing, which is awesome. I'm also seeing an improvement in uh, performance right here in the office in my day-to-day -day, uh, job, for example. My team's connectivity has not always been particularly great. It's It was... It was doable, it was okay, but I would quite often find myself dropping off calls and r randomly for a few seconds and then reconnecting, especially especially recently for some reason. I got really fed up with it. And I also found people were saying that my video quality was a little pixely quite often as well. And I did find that when I, when I do record uh, videos, when I'm interviewing people, I use StreamYard and uh, that is sort of live recording. And... I go pixely on that very, very often, well I did on the old BT connectivity. It was very frustrating. I mean, it, it got easier when StreamYard brought in local video recordings that you could then download and upload and edit and it was a bit fiddly, but now I shouldn't have to worry about that. I haven't actually tried it yet. I, I, I will soon, next time I get a, uh, a video that I'm doing with a, an invited guest which will probably end up being Natalia again when we talk a little bit more about Copilot for M365. So, um, so yeah, there were issues. There were things that, as a, as a gamer, in my son's point of view, you, uh, you, you don't want that disruption. As a, um, somebody doing a, uh, an important job, wanting good audio and video communications with my team for my work, I, I want that to be um, a hell of a lot better than what it was. I want people to be able to see me and not to be pixelated and not to be any lag. And, and I also want to be able to produce good quality video content for this channel. Um, so that was all crucial to my decision making. But that's about it, really. I thought I would just share my experience with you. And it's all been positive for, so far. You can be sure that I'll keep you up to date on how it goes over the coming weeks as it beds in. Anyway, let's wind up the video. I do hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you've uh, used Starlink yourself, if you have it, if you're thinking about getting it. Would this make you uh, flip the switch and make that decision and take the plunge? Let me know in the comments. And uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Consider becoming a member as well if you want even more of my content. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.